Hey everybody, my name is Kidam, and welcome back from the video of Lost Judgment. We're going to continue this series. Right now, I'm having quite a little bit of fun playing this game. We're back into some real business. We finally got the USB. After a long fight with Soma, a long boss fight and stuff. Yagami. And uh, we got into pretty much big trouble. Oh, great. It's Claw Guy. It's this guy you again. Yuma, right? They say you brought your little posse from Tokyo. You I didn't trust an outsider. Posse? Wait, don't tell me you think I'm RK. They're not even close to me. Again with this shit? Hey, Tessa, Why do I keep getting jumped wrong. at my office place? You got- Wait, I just fought Soma. Can you not? Like, can you chill for two seconds without fighting me? I literally- Oh, what the fuck was that? All right, all right, that's fine. You want to play like that? Let's go, boys. Let's, uh, let's equip my thing. There we go, and we're just gonna do that. There we go. Boom, just like that. And we're just gonna continue to do our assaults pretty quick. We've got the uh, the thing going on. Whoa, no, you don't. This guy uh, made some big time flips and what that. So off the bat, in the video, we're starting off. With a big fight and stuff, boys. Interesting. Interesting enough. All right, get him. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. How about you don't? Boom. There we go. Get you right there. Okay. So what I need to do right there is I need to equip some stuff. First off, uh, we are going to equip Dance of Life and some Stamina X Toughness as well. All right. We're going to equip all of that. All right. Th there we go. There we go. There we go. Just like that. Boom! And now we're gonna... Oh, shit! Oh, dance alive, buddy! You can't touch someone who dances like this. Come on, man. Oh, shit! No, you don't. Alright, time to uh, do my thing real quick. We're just dancing. I don't know what it does, boys. It's kind of a useless ability, to be honest. But we're trying. We're trying our best. So we're just definitely gonna tr uh, try and attack him or beat him up, I guess. There we go. Got him. You can see that uh, that Q and A just in time, boys. Okay, there we go. No, you don't. Quick time events. Quick time events, boys. Just in time. All right, got it. We're just gonna keep attacking him until he's done for. Watch out, no, 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 no. There we go. Got him. Boom! Just like that. Managed to dodge that one. There's more of him. This shit never is never gonna stop, boys. Keep getting jumped from every side. No, you don't. Oh, I almost got him. I should have done the uh, EX. I wasn't close enough, though. I wasn't uh, smart enough to do it just in time. All right, we gotta beat his ass. I don't have Kaido anymore. Now it doesn't matter. Now that it doesn't matter really that much, uh, anyways, because he he was he's never there anyway. So you know, so it doesn't change much. But still. For the, uh, the one part I would need him right now. After a long boss fight, I would really need him big time. Alright, we really gotta get to take out these goddamn guys once and for all, boys. They're all on my ass for way too long. Shit's getting annoying. Come on, get him. Get rid of him already. There's one guy down. I need to take out this guy really quick. Okay, please get the hell out of here. Okay, there we go. I can't jump off the walls, boys, so that is something right there. This guy's doing flips like crazy. Alright, I think that should finish him off with the, uh, the gold old uh true the the good old hurricane hurricane runner and stuff so there we go finally we got him about that time starting off really strong with the goddamn uh fight <coughs> you guys are finished or what stop attacking me come on man who paid you to jump me this time these kamurucho douchebags show up strutting around like they own our city then I hear some teacher chick gets killed after a break-in. Fuckers. Someone let him into Ijincho, right? Right? 
Look, I can see why you're pissed. But you figured coming after me was the answer? Figured I could at least try beating a few out of you. Office visits ain't my style. You've got to appreciate that not everyone plays by gang rules, man. What I don't appreciate is Kamurocho trash. Now why are they here, Yagami? I'd like to find that out myself. But I'll tell you this much, I'm not your enemy. I was first on the scene to that murder. I knew the woman personally. The culprit is RK's leader, a guy named Soma. Shit, you serious? Then why is the rest of his crew here with him? A lot of muscle just to ice one lady. They're after a local handyman, Kawana. You know him? Yeah, matter of fact, I do. Why they want him so bad? I'm looking into that now. Which is why they're still after me. Not to mention they stabbed my partner. So the more you get in our way, the slower this'll go. Mm. Gotcha. You understand then? How's about I make you the deal of a lifetime? Uh... So long as RK's messing around in my city. I don't mind calling you a brother. Is that right? Really? Okay. Just like that. Sure. But I get to be Aniki, of course. You really think this is selling it? What you're missing here is the Liumong never target a brother. So now, if anyone lays a finger on you, the Liumong's taking their head. Oh, Same shit. Rule for all the ladies here in Egypt. That's great. Anyone gets fresh, they become fresh meat. You with me on that, brother? I'm oh, with you all day. It takes some getting used to. Besides, making you a brother is the only way we save face for getting our asses handed to us, you know? Ah, uh, now the truth comes out. Anyway, let me know if you get any intel on RK. Especially where that chicken shit Soma might be. Just shoot me a location and it's done. We'll give that teacher her peace. By torturing you to death. Hey, I guess I've got some pretty heavy hitters on my side now. Yeah, that's crazy. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Well, we did refuse the MRC's help, but at least we've got these guys' help. We've got the assassins on our side now. So that's a good thing, I imagine. Now we can call them off, and whenever we want, uh, we need them, I guess. They're going to protect me and, uh, and stuff. Uh, I was just thinking of calling you, Yagamishi. I heard Kaito-san got stabbed at Siren. Is that true, Yagami-san? What the hell happened? Look, I promise I'll fill you in, but right now I really need Tsukumo's help. With what? I found a USB drive at Kawanda's hideout. It was disguised to look like a lighter. We have to know what's on it. So, Kaito-san was attacked by that Soma guy too. Yeah, while we were chasing Kawana, Soma popped up and got him right in the gut. Almost got me too, to be honest. You're saying one guy almost single-handedly took down the Yagami Detective Agency? It's true. And right after, I got a call from Kawana's purported relative who wanted me to hand over the flash drive. Apparently, what's on it will tell us Kawana's true identity and goal. When I open it, all I see is one data file. Of what? It's a video. I'll hit play once you guys are all ready. You good? Damn, what's on there? I can't take the suspense. Kwana uh, went to great length to keep this video secret. Yeah, so I'm interesting to see what uh, we're about Let's to see right here, screen. boys. Some sort of big time evidence.
All right. Was that was that shit was worst. that proof? I don't I, 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 I don't understand, boys. Mitsuru Kusumoto was stripping? Yeah, he was Sawa Sensei's classmate. Thirteen years ago, he jumped off the roof of Kurokawa Academy. He's Reiko Kusumoto's son, right? Vice Minister of the Health Ministry? Thirty years old and still in a coma. It seems we've stumbled on private video footage of Mitsuru Kusumoto being bullied. Okay, but Kuwana what's that? Secret flash what is that going to do for any of us? Why would he have this? I don't know. But his uncle said it's our lead to Kwana's real identity and motivation. Huh. Uh, just a moment. This frame gives us a good look at the key players' faces. Why don't we try gleaning what we can from it? Sounds good. Let's dig in. Okay, maybe we can find out who these guys are really, uh, really are and stuff. So first off, what we want to do... Wait, can I not... Okay, so hopefully we can find something... Suspicious. Okay, there we go. What about this guy? Is it uh, truly the, the guy... Uh, so it is Kusumu, uh, Kusumoto? Still clinging to life? To okay. Too. 13 years ago, his mother was still just some nobody working at the Ministry of Health. She seems to have split with her husband and looks after her son on her own now. I don't know all the details, though. Hey, crazy theory, but what if... This husband she left was actually Kuwana-san. It could have been. And maybe he recorded this it's to possible. secretly check on his son. No, Kuwana doesn't look like he could have a 30-year-old kid. Let's look for other possibilities. The fuck do you mean he doesn't look like he could have... My guy. Hey. Looks don't, uh, are deceiving you, my guy. He could literally what be the? way older than you. Suspicious. I don't know what you're talking hey. about. What about that girl? Who the fuck is she? She's the only girl in the entire group, right? Yeah, I think she Suspicious. is. This girl recording the bullying on her cell phone. Someone said her name in the video. Suzuki. There's another familiar face. So it all comes circling back to her, huh? Right. This Suzuki girl has a different name now. Has she? Uh, it's just her maiden name. 13 years later, her name changed to... Reiko Kusumoto? Saro Shirosaki, Yoko Sawa, or Yui Mamiya? Was it Sawa? It might have been Sawa. Yoko Sawa. Over the course of our investigation, we did learn Sawa Sensei was in their class. So if she were in the video, it wouldn't be that surprising. However, we have no evidence that her name was Suzuki back then. <laughs> Sharp as ever, Tsukumo. See, I was off with that one. So it's not Sawa. Okay, who could it be? Is it uh, Mamiya, I guess? It could have been, right? I'm not sure about these other ones. I don't know who they are. Like, I don't really remember names, boys. Especially interesting names like these. Yui Mamiya. They're hard to remember. In a horror harassment case. Suzuki was her last name before getting married. Sawa-sensei also told me that Mitsuru Kusumoto and Mamiya were classmates 13 years ago. Yep, so we're looking at Yui Mamiya in high school. So ma that, that is Yui, okay? What's she like underneath it all? Originally, word got around that Shinya Kawai was the one bullying Mitsuru Kusumoto. After watching this, though, the truth of the matter doesn't quite line up. It's literally everybody. Really about ten it's the whole goddamn classroom. 
And Yui Mamiya was one of them. Yeah. If this video got leaked, Mamiya and the other students in it would be in deep shit. Is that what? That's what it's all about then. Like nothing happened, despite being the ones who drove a kid into a coma. If word got out, they'd be crucified by the public. Their jobs, their families, their lives would all change for the worse. Uh huh. Okay, so that's why. But why does Kuana want to protect them? Suspicious. They deserve to have their life ruined. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Did you not just see on the video what they did? Just for that alone, you don't count just without counting all the horrible other things they did Suspicious. when they were young. Uh, just for that alone, they should be they should literally be punished hard. Like there's no question about it. Just let the gangs handle them. I just don't care. Why should we protect these guys? This guy's face is familiar somehow. Oh, uh, I don't think I've seen him. I don't know him either. Who is that could have, that could be uh, Kuana. Unless, oh, it's that guy. It's that guy that was spying on us. Okay. He was with more Kurokawa grads. He showed his ID to the Kanagawa detective. I think his name was Akaike. That gives us an interesting perspective, doesn't it? All the people in this bullying video seem to keep popping up around our case. Yeah. But the real question is, why was Kuwana the one with the video? Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, so we don't, we can't tell about that person. Neither that person behind and that person either. One of them, one of them's gotta be like uh, important, right? Hmm. So that's the main guy. That's gotta be the the guy we're after the entire time. If I'm not mistaken, she that's Kawhi. Yeah, for sure. His name got out to the public. Yeah. RK was hunting for him in Kamrocho pretty recently, too. I have no doubt the guy in the picture they showed me is the same guy in this video. Once RK came to the conclusion Kawhi had been murdered, they came here to be Jincho, hunting down Kawana for whatever reason. Did Sawa get mixed up in all this because of Kawai? Kawai's? No, I can't see the connection there yet. Yeah, I don't know what she had there. She gotta, she's gotta be part of this whole group of bullies or something. She, she has to have something to do with all this. Otherwise, like, I, I don't know why she would get killed like that. What did she know that was so important? Suspicious. All right, so I, I think students in the video. There's still one missing. I still can't get these students. What about this guy right here? There's a guy on the on the top. Suspicious. Wait, the time right here. There we go. So 2028 must be the date in school year terms. It's probably just finished summer break. September 17. A September 17, 17. Okay. It's past 4 p.m. So this would be after school. Oh, wait. This is. Got wait, something? they're after school and they're still there. The date They've got nothing to do in their lives. September 17. Children, boys. I don't know. I don't get it. Sometimes. It can only mean this video was recorded very shortly before his suicide attempt. So this video captured the crucial instance of bullying that drove to his, uh, his attempted suicide, okay. Alright, I think that's everything. The video may have provided some interesting connections, but we still don't have that crucial link. Yeah, that didn't the really help, aside from Kuwana knowing who the bullies the culprits were. Right. Kawan is either the one who recorded it himself, or is at least a recipient of the video from the original witness. Kuwana-san and Sawa-sensei knew each other somehow, right? Well, then, maybe Sawa-sensei recorded it 13 years ago, and then had Kuwana-san look into it. As one of his handyman requests. It's possible, but it just feels off. Why is that? got a bigger connection than that, I kinda... Owner said to like, me. honestly, okay. it's not just client, uh, a client to, uh, thing going on right here. Both Kuwana-kun's past. And his purpose. He said we'll know Kuana's true identity once we watch the video. But that hasn't been the case so far. No, we haven't learned shit about him. Yeah. Uh, what identity could we draw from a secret recording of some bullies? Assuming Kuana's in his early 40s, he would have been about 30, 13 years ago. What if he was a school teacher of the students in the video? 
In that case, we should consult the yearbook Segura she brought back. The one that was in Sawa Sensei's room? You still have yet to look through it. That's right. Uh, let me go get it. We do have the yearbook. That's the right. Talking. I assume you've already taken a peek. We'll probably find out what uh, what he was but doing there. Fortunately, we didn't find Kawanasan's face among the teachers. Really? But what the hell was this he is doing the page then? from Mitsuru Kusumoto's class. Both Sawa Sensei and Mami are there too. Alrighty so then. The homeroom teacher was this guy. Apparently, he witnessed bullies harassing Mitsuru multiple times, yet he would overlook it. All he did was smile and tell them not to overdo it. It's not Kawana. This is someone else. We checked the rest of the teachers, too, but never spotted Kawana-san. Mitsuru Kusumoto. This picture doesn't look like it was shot for a yearbook. Correct. He was most likely already in a coma when photo time rolled around. The attempted suicide is in tender, so the other photos in here must have been taken after that then. Actually, with that in mind, I can tell just how forced uh, their smiles are in these pictures. Sawa sensei isn't smiling at all in this. Huh. She did mention she blew off her class reunion. In fact, she hadn't kept in touch with her classmates at all. No surprise there. Mitsuru-kun would be bound to come up at some point. This is Yui Suzuki. She's definitely one of the girls in the video. Yet another classmate involved with Mitsuru Kusumoto. Seems like a bunch of the students on this page were in the video, huh? Yeah, but I can't find Shinya Kawaii in here. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's not in there. If I'm not mistaken, Kawai left the school once he started catching flack for being Mitsuru-kun's bully. At least, that's what I read online. No real evidence yet, but it definitely sounds like how it would have played out. But the truth is, there were more bullies who should have seen consequences besides Kawai. Yeah, they should have seen all. Uh, they should have all seen consequences. It's not about the one bully. There's multiple of them. They're all acting equally. Like it's not about one guy. I don't get it. Why is why did Kawaii get all the blame right there? Something's off. So examine. What about this guy, the, the professor? I think that's the main guy that uh, we need to look at. To be honest, I know the thing uh, that thanks to Sawa. Oh, yeah. The worst part is that his teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it, but all he said was, "Don't overdo it." But afterward, the public eviscerated him. He had to quit his teaching job. Hold on. We gotta he find out more about that teacher. He's Maybe gotta have a up? connection to Koana, the maybe somehow. The time of the incident, if we're lucky enough. Black. He got forced out of teaching. Yeah, what of it? If that's the case, couldn't this teacher in the yearbook just be filling in for the other one? I see. That definitely sounds likely. Let me search for the original teacher's name. Ah, all right. So Kuana might have been the actual teacher, and this guy is just the on the yearbook is just the one replaced that replaced him. Could have been the case. Yagamishi, I found it. The name of Mitsuru Kusumoto's former homeroom teacher. You were right. It wasn't the same teacher in the yearbook. This one's name is Yu Kitakata. Kiti Kitakata. All right, it is him. It's Kuana. He was the teacher, boys. His real That's the name connection. Is Ring any bells? That's Kuwana's real name. Soma said it to me once. So Kuwana-san was the original homeroom teacher? I just found a picture. This is Kitakata Sensei from 13 years ago. It's Kuwana. <gasps> That's him, all right. Yeah. Not only that, Sawa Sensei was part of this class. Which makes Kawana her homeroom teacher too. This is the link we've been looking for. Why do, would they want to kill Everything the teacher though? In place. Instead Kawana of trying to go after all the case. students first. So, 13 Quite years interesting. Ago, Yuki Takata left teaching behind after Mitsuru Kun's incident and became Kawana the handyman. That's what made him turn to his uncle at Siren for help. He told me Kawana tried really hard to make it in the underground. 
had some good reason for it. For living a life in the shadows? What could that have been? Gwyneth stopped teaching because of a student, uh, a student of his attempted suicide. What was that? Uh, what was he after when he went underground? Uh, to become an underground big shot, to get revenge on the bullies, to be the world's greatest Andy man. I'm pretty sure it's to get revenge on the bullies. Uh, whatever that means. I mean, he did to let them do their the thing, so I don't know why Maybe revenge would be any uh, do anything for him. On the bullies who caused it to happen. Then, maybe all his hatred got aimed at Shinya Kawai? Possible. He was abducted five years ago by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. <sighs> you think one of them was Kawana-san? Could have been. Could have killed Kawai. He might have learned of Kawana's involvement while searching for Kawai. Maybe they came to a gene show so they could get details on the incident from him? Yes, that would explain RK's arrival in town as well. R hold up individuals who were his acquaintances meaning more people besides kuwana-san right could that mean you got it if they knew kawaii somehow the evidence we've gathered so far should have given us a clue all right so we've got all of this maybe the footage we are hopefully know. that's the one. Oh. The students in the video? Individuals acquainted with Kawai. They certainly fit the bill. But why would they wind up abducting him? Huh. Maybe Kawana asked for their help? No. He forced them to. What makes you say that? Well, he got, it does but have a Kawana leverage on them. He should have. Right? But to anyone exactly, he's video, got the drive and everything. He's got the video, so he's got the leverage on them. If it did... They'd be busted as bullies who drove a high school kid to suicide. Yeah, it'd be a real disaster for them if that got out. They'd probably be done for in the public eye. Which means this video is Kawana's leverage. It's how he got them to go after Kawai. <sighs> you think this is enough leverage to drive people to murder, though? Kawai was killed, right? RK is the only one saying Kawai was murdered. Yeah, we don't no know if he's, he, if he's dead or not. Okay, hang on. I'm barely keeping up with this. Yeah, it's a bunch of what ifs stacked on top of each other. But there is somebody who could potentially confirm this. Who'd that be? Someone in the video. Mamiya, for example. I've met with her at her home. If she was involved with Kawai's abduction, she could probably tell us what we want to know. I agree. Yagami Shi's provided a working theory that ties together the Kamurocho and Injincho incidents. So if we can get Yui Mamiya to corroborate this, we should be able to extract even more information from her. Perhaps even including Kawana-san's whereabouts. Yeah. Looks like he hasn't given us the slip just yet. Man. What the hell is that guy's deal? Mikoshiba and Sawa-sensei's murders, Ahara's alibi, Kawai's disappearance. Kawana's most likely tied to everything. We'll get all the answers we need if we can find him. And I guess this is bringing us that much closer? <laughs> Hopefully. I should go see Yui Mamiya tomorrow. You should accompany him, Sugiyoroshi. Considering we seem to be kicking the investigation into high gear. With Kaito-san out of commission, I'm sure Yagami-shi could use a helping hand. I'll be fine right here. Your call, Tsukumo-kun. I'm cool with whatever. Thanks for lending him out, Tsukumo. I'll make sure he comes back in one piece. Hey! <laughs> Don't underestimate him as a party member. He can hold his own if you let him. Well, alrighty then. So there's that. Uh, big time improvements on the case via the video file. Which at, the, at first we didn't really know any connections. We made those connections happen though. Uh, let's rest up on the couch. That's the about the only thing we can do. So uh, let's do that. So yeah, we, we did find out who the culprits, the bullies were. All the connections with Sawa and Kuana, you know we know what it is all about. Kuana was the gone. teacher. Forced his uh, former, Sawa I guess, Allah. students to yeah. do uh, either yeah. a murder Clean or out. just kidnapping of Sifting Kawai altogether. So we're going very far into the case. Background, That's really good at least. Captain Hamura stares me down like, time to lose that pinky. And then, Higashi starts crying for me. If I'm gonna go, 
I ought to get a better final scene than that shit, right? Right? I'm sure it'll be rosier when the time comes for real. Glad you pulled through, man. That bastard Soma, though. Next time, he's fucked. We could have avenged Sawa Sensei if it weren't for that stupid ambush. Well, you didn't tell the cops about him, did you? Had to give the cops a statement, so I did. With a generous side of bullshit. That'll get you busted, you know. I'm joking. All I said was the truth. That I got knifed by the same twisted fuck who got Sawa Sensei. In that case, it's only a matter of time until Soma's arrested. So for now, we'll go after Kuana, the piece that ties it all together. We just have to find him before RK does. Kuana, huh? <clears throat> He's on my shit list too, just so you know. Huh? Kuana must have had some sort of agenda back when he first met us. In fact, it's probably because you were looking into Mikoshiba. He palled around with me all because of that. I'm just a sucker of the agency, huh? I wouldn't say that. No, Still, I would definitely say that. You're definitely the sucker. A moment and ask for me to kick the guy that doesn't do Mikoshiba. shit all day. You're better off just in the hospital, my guy. I'm better. telling you. Tsukuma will stop by later, too. What? Sugiura gonna give me the cold shoulder? He and I are off to question Mamiya. He said he'd drive us from Ijincho and everything. It's nice to have a little visit to Kaido at least. Now on to some real business though. I should head back to Yokohama again. All we do is stay back in the agency. Can we not do some action a little bit? Move on. All right, here we go. We're back in the agency once again. Uh, we just keep doing the same old, same old boys. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stop the video right here. On the next video, I guess we're going to com continue to do some cutscenes and stuff. Not a lot of action, to be honest. This is why the game is very long. It kind of gets boring at some points. It really does because it is a lot of cutscenes and it's not a lot of action. There's not a lot of gameplay and not enough of it at least. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the else. Keep it easy, boys.